So if you guys have been modding PSPs or PS Vitas for a long time, you might remember Duke 3D. It was actually ported over to the PSP and it was ported over to the PS Vita as well. Well recently, only maybe a couple of days ago, it got a version 1.6 update and this update is pretty cool. Um, you can save on this update, you can use mods, um, it's got loads of like crash fixes and stuff like that. So if you guys wish to install this, it's a pretty good game. Um, what you want to do is just go ahead, open up Vita Shell like normal, and we're going to go and connect my PSP to um, my computer so I'm just going to go and press select I'm going to go and connect it now and I will show you guys what we have to do so here is the latest version of eduke32 now updated to version 1.6 i think i made a video about this a long time ago i think it was on my psp or something like that but as you can see it's been updated this is the guy who made it this is the guy who ported it over and it's actually a port of duke 3d so this is pretty cool let's read all of the new features so bat scripts can now be used which let you easily define custom launching parameters and um, support for grp files in ssi format this doesn't really mean too much for me but if you know about modding games maybe this means something to you i know mods will also work also saving you can now overwrite save files which is very good and a lot of other minor improvements including improved engine time accuracy and a better catch size a lot of minor fixes which is very good because these prevent memory corruption so if you guys would like to grab the latest version of this i will also link it in the description you guys can go over to this link you should know this website vita db very good website for ps vita users and what you want to do is scroll down and we need to find it these two buttons right here we need to click on download vpk and we also need to click on download data files all we need is these two files now once you've got these files what you want to do is go to a downloads folder and you'll be able to find them in there so make sure your ps vita is connected so what we are going to do first, we are going to just make sure our PS Vita is connected. We're going to get eduke32 VPK and we're going to drag and drop this on the root of my PS Vita. Next, we need to get the eduke32 zip file. Inside of this file, it will have a folder. This folder actually goes inside our data folder. So just drag and drop that across and then there you go. That is literally it for the computer, as easy as that. Let's go back onto our PS Vita and let's install it. Alright, so once we're back, what we're going to do is go onto my UXO, and we're going to scroll all the way down from here, and we're just going to find the VPK for it. So it's this one right here, eduke32, I'm going to press X, X again, and we're just going to go ahead and install this in a few seconds. Now once this is installed, all we want to do is close out, and we can test it. If you put the files in the correct places, which is like the data folder, it should be working perfectly fine. So let's just close out of each shell, let's go and find my game right now, and let's just give it a quick test. And let's see, does it actually work? Let's go and start this up. Okay guys, so once you get to this screen, don't press start or anything like that. It might be confusing, but it's actually very simple. It says select a GRP file. All you want to do is just press X and it will actually launch this file right here. It's actually already selected and um, you just can't really tell. So it's just going to launch it up just like this. Um, we will get the intro any second. You just have to wait a few seconds to this to launch up. And there you go, we have got Duke Nukem 3D running on a PS Vita. This also works on the PSP, not this version. Earlier versions work on the PSP if you've still got one of those. And what we can do, we can go on new game. There's options if you want to edit stuff, you can just you know go ahead and do it like normal. We're just gonna go on new game. Play some random one, there you go. And the game will load perfectly fine. And this also has saving, this also has mod support. Um, this runs a lot smoother than it does on the PSP. Well, I was playing it on my PSP 1000, so I don't know if that makes a difference, but yeah, it's just like a normal game, you know, you can use left and right, right to shoot your gun. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So we've got an enemy here. Obviously we can shoot this guy. I'm really bad at this game, but there you go. And um, yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. This is the game running with the latest fixes on the latest version. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.